Good morning, GC. I'm Austin Crawford here with Logan Charlie to bring you today's announcements. The Hunger Games Canned Food Drive is now through December 8th. 4 A classes will compete against their districts when the entire school to win a pizza party. Classes in the winning district will receive a popcorn party. Bonus items will be posted in the Commons. Here are the updated standings. Tomorrow we compete for the winner of the district. If you are the only one left in your district already, congratulations. If you are in District 7, 9, or 10, you get one more chance. The class with the highest total from your district tomorrow will win the district and move on to the district competition. Tomorrow's bonus items are soup for two points and peanut butter for three points. Ball four will be here today during lunch to deliver class rings. Balances have been posted in the glass case in the Commons. Please have cash, money order, or cashier's check for payment. No personal checks will be accepted. You can call ahead to pay by credit or an or debit card at 270-527-6654. Strictly business for seniors is this Friday. Interview times will be posted in the comments on Wednesday. Seniors need to report to the PE comments 15 minutes before their interview time. Professional dress code applies for the interview. Boys should wear dress shirts, dress pants, and a tie. Girls should wear dress pants, blouse, or sweater, and a professional dress. Seniors who return their signed permission slips to Ms. Gaddis by this Thursday may leave school after their interview. Ms. Gaddis will not accept these on Friday. They are available in the office with senior English teachers or with Ms. Gaddis and Sedalia 16. Beta Club will be meeting this Friday in the gym. You will be taking your club picture. Don't forget that senior headshots will be this week. Make sure you show up 10 to 15 minutes for your, before your appointment time. Check with the teacher if they don't remember your appointment time. During the break, Ben Hill previews Knott's basketball live. And Jacob Woods has your upcoming forecast. Hey GC, tonight our Eagle and Lady Eagle basketball teams look to start off their regular season with a win against Livingston Central High School. The girls play first at six. I talked to Coach Frick and senior big man Brendan Young to talk about the upcoming season. Probably to make it to Rupp and win this year. Senior Center Brendan Young voiced the hopes you hear across Eagle Nation. And even though the expectations remain high, Coach Frick says you can plan on watching this team play a different style after losing one of the program's all-time greats in Chris Volk. One of the things about this basketball team is we're going to have to play a little different. You know, um, we feel like we're a lot more guard-oriented, so we're working on space on the floor and creating angles, and, and we've really tried to shoot the ball a lot better. So it's going to be a different looking team than what we've seen in years past. The team returns a pair of athletic junior guards in reigning regional tournament MVP Jordan Naranjo and high scoring point guard Ryan Mathis. They are just two of what should be a loaded perimeter attack that already has plenty of experience. Plus, after shining this summer in AAU ball and lighting up the scoreboard on the gridiron, Coach Frick says versatile senior Trevor Grant has embraced the challenge of leading this team. You know, Trevor, even though he's been with us for just a few days, uh, you know, the guys really respect him. But also other guys like Jacob Savage, uh, Aaron Jones, who bring it every single day and, and their energy, everybody else feeds off of. 70% of last year's scoring returns. And this team's strength should be in shooting and speed. Uh, this version of our basketball team, fans will really get excited about. The boys tip off at 7.30. Come out to the Eagles Nest tonight and support your basketball team. And that's all for GCTV Sports. I'm Ben Hill. Very warm temperatures today in the middle to upper 60s. This will be accompanied with some slightly breezy conditions and temperatures overnight tonight are going to be in the middle to upper 40s. Let's keep in mind that an average low temperature for this time of the year at night is in the lower 30s. So we're going to be almost 15 degrees above average, not only for low temperatures, but for those high temperatures as well. We're remaining above 60 degrees for tomorrow with partly cloudy skies. Clouds will continue to increase going into Wednesday night and early Thursday morning. 
As we see a cold front near our region, that will accompany us with some a.m. showers, but then those move out for the afternoon commute, and we're left with mostly cloudy skies and temperatures cooling off pretty quickly down to 36 by Thursday night. GCTV is selling Chick-fil-A colors to help us raise money to get us to the Student, National, the Student Television Network National Convention. The calendars cost $8 each. calendar comes with a card that gets you something free from Chick-fil-A every month of 2018. We've got a picture of the card on your screen. You can see that two of the months give you nuggets or a sandwich, so you've pretty much gotten your money back on that alone. These cards make great gifts, so if you'd like to buy one or several, see Mr. Heiser or a member of the GCTV staff. GCHS will host free ACT workshop in the first full week of December. All sessions will begin at 3 at 15 p.m. Monday, December 4th will be math with Mr. McMillan in room with Sedalia 01. Tuesday, December 5th will be reading with Ms. Cooper in room Fancy Farm 01. Wednesday, December 6th will, 6th will be science with Ms. Overby in room Sedalia 19. And Thursday, December 7th will be English with Ms. Cooper in room Fancy Farm 01. All high school students are encouraged to participate in the 2017-2018 Americanism Essay Contest. This year's topic is what patriotism means to me. Information can be found at www.fra.org slash essay or see Ms. Rogers in the guidance office. Essays are due to Ms. Rogers prior to December 1st and the grand prize is $5,000. Attention, attention 9th, 10th, and 11th graders. Have you ever dreamed of starting a company and wondered what it takes and where to start? GSE will help you answer these questions. Governor's School for Entrepreneurs is a three-week residential summer program where young entrepreneurs working in teams take an idea and utilize steam and enterprise skills to create a service or product. In the three weeks at GSC, you'll be exposed to experienced entrepreneurs, startup tools, funding, pitch competitions, emerging technologies, and scholarships. It is 100% free to apply and attend. All Kentucky 9th, 10th, and 11th graders are eligible to apply. 2018 GSE online applications are open through December 20th. Please see Alicia Mathis in the guidance office of applying. The GCHS Eagle Eye newspaper is hosting a Big Buck contest. To enter the Big Buck contest, email your photo to marcy.crouch at grays.kyschools.us or Greg message your photo on Instagram to at GCHS Eagles Eye. Top three bucks will be featured on the GCHS Eagles Eye Instagram page. The photo will, with the most likes will win a variety of prizes and will be featured in an exclusive article. Photos must be submitted by December 8th. The winner will be announced December 19th. And that's all we have for today's news. For GCTV, I'm Logan Trailer, And I'm Austin Crawford. Have a great day, GC.